Hi guys, so today we're going to uh, buffalo plaid some ornaments that I have. So I haven't painted the back side of that one yet. These are just wooden ornaments. So I have a stocking, a mitten, and a dog bone, and I'm going to show you a really quick way to buffalo plaid. So I the painter's tape, I got the thinnest stuff I could find, and you basically just start taping off. I like to start in the middle, really push it down, and then you're going to want Okay, that's all that one's going to take. <laughs> so we're going to start in the middle. And then you want a tape width in between. So here we're going to need one on the edge. And you might have to fudge the width slightly when you're doing small pieces. This was the narrowest tape I could find, but you may be able to find something. I just want to do a quick measure and see how far off I am. If you get too far off, then when we do the next step, it's not going to work all that well. And then for this one, we're going to be using gray because uh, this is going to be the black and white. So I just have some gray paint here and I'm using chalk paint, but you don't have to. You can use any acrylic paint. And this is in the color vintage and it's chalky finish. So you take a sponge, you load it up, and then we're just going to go up and down, up and down, up and down. You want to go fairly light because you don't want to push the paint under the tape. And you just want to go up and down, up and down, up and down. And I personally like the bit of texture and I don't want a full solid color. I think it mimics fabric a bit more. So again, up and down. And I should say you want your um, base layer to be totally, totally dry. So the tape doesn't pull up any of the color underneath. And you can see my base layer wasn't totally solid either. I do like the look of a bit of texture, but if you want something that's really, really opaque, you just would put another coat on. But you do want to make sure you're getting your paint up to the tape. Okay, so that's that one. And one more. And I'm going to show you the next step on um, some red ones that I have, just to show you the different colors and how it's the exact same technique. It's super easy and it really gives a nice result. Okay, so that's it for the first coat. So we'll let that dry. Okay, so here is the next step. So you can see uh, this is the red version. So I just used a red paint and what I'm using is the Deco Art um, Satin Enamel in Deep Ruby. Beautiful color. So uh, I started with that as my base and then I just put a bit of black in it to do the first round of stripes. And now I'm gonna do the second. So it's the same thing, start in the middle. And then you want to use a spacer. I did a few of these where I just did it by eye without using a spacer. And uh, on s the mitten, I have plenty of room for the spacer. But on the other two, they're a little tight, so I might have to just fudge it a little bit, and that works out well too. Okay? So, again, really, 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 really push this down. That's how you're going to get your clean lines. Okay, so last step for these guys. So we're now going to cover off the original light line from the first round of painting. So you can see where it is. And you wanna put your tape back in that same spot. 
This one is a little harder to see, but if you look carefully, you can see where the line was. And if you truly can't figure it out, you could always put your spacer back. You do want to try to stay as close as you can though. That's how you get the really nice line. So this has some steps, but overall it's pretty quick to do. And the results are great. Okay, that's that one. This oh, that one should do great. Actually, that one turned out great. 